bugs. Today we are going to be talking about how morpho butterfly wings produce their color because it is structural color. Pigments are specific molecules that will always make that specific color. A good example is melanin. The pigment is a molecule that has a specific shape. You get brown with melanin. In the case of insects, chitin, which is used to make the exoskeleton, can be angled, shaped, and formed in different ways to produce different structures that reflect light differently. This is how we get a wide variety of colors using the exact same material. Today, we're going to be doing a demonstration using the Morpho butterfly wings. Despite being giant and blue, this Morpho's wing scales on the top are completely clear. These scales are the clear scales that are reflecting the blue light through their specialized structure. This is the ribbing structure that gives their scales their strength. On that ribbing structure, you have this structure that's doing all the work. Light enters, it bounces around in between those staircase structures and is reflected back out in a straight line. This is how our LEDs work. However, Morpho butterflies can reflect 80% light out of this structure and our commercial LEDs can only reflect about six or 7% light out of their structure. A lot of people are studying these structures so we can make more efficient optics. This pearl morpho shows off its angle-dependent iridescence. This gives us the opportunity to see how the scales are completely clear, allowing us to see the pigmentation on the underside. And here's the quick demonstration. I have two to show you. The first is here is a morpho butterfly wing that is okay and completely intact, and you can still see that beautiful blue shimmer on it. And here is one that when I was traveling, my hair oil <laughs> fell into the between the layers of the acrylic and you can see that it has turned a greenish color. Now if you have morpho butterfly wings and you don't have oil and acrylic you can get morpho butterflies and do a simple trick with rubbing alcohol. So here we have our morpho butterfly it's right here and if I just take regular rubbing alcohol and I spray the Morpho butterfly. So you can see the Morpho is now this kind of like shimmery, weird, green, coppery color instead of the bright blue that it once was. This happens because the alcohol is reflecting light differently into those structures, so they're now reflecting a green wavelength instead of a blue wavelength. Here's a quick time lapse of the alcohol evaporating and the Morpho being restored to blue. This doesn't happen with water because the wings are water resistant or hydrophobic. And you can see how the water just beads up on the wings and doesn't penetrate the structure. I hope that you like this demonstration and you learned a little bit about how nature makes her colors.